Welcome to Nismo TV News. We've got so much to talk about. It's all of the announcements, all of the 2017 news. Let's find out the details. Super GT, we've got all the information on the driver lineup for GT500, the works drivers for Nissan in Super GT 2017. And all those drivers are going to be at the wheel of the new 2017 model year GT500. You can find out more about that car elsewhere on this channel. In the red car, the Nismo car, number 23, will be driven again by Sugo Matsuda and Ronnie Kintarelli. But there is news in what was the Calsonic sponsored blue car in previous years. Team Impul will be driven by GT Academy winner Jan Mardenborough which is great news for him and Yasuda-san. Jan has stepped up to GT500 from the GT300 category, which he nearly won in 2016. He's gonna be all out to make a point in GT500 this year. Chiyo-san and Motoyama are again in the S-Road Mola GTR. And the final car in the lineup is going to be the Kondo Racing car, driven by Daiki Sasaki and JP Oliveira, who's moved over from Team Impul. That is gonna be a really exciting pairing. And it's gonna be interesting to see if that rivalry between JP Oliveira and Ronnie Quintarelli continues into 2017. In the world of GT3, the Nissan GTR has become something of a force to be reckoned with. In the STX class of the Super TyQ series last year, it was crowned champion. The GTR GT3 is gonna be racing all around the world, in Australia, in China, in the USA, as well as in Europe. <laughs> The Blancpain Endurance Series Pro Cup, Chio is coming back to Europe. He will be in the RJN Motorsport Run Pro Cup car, partnered by Al Buncombe and former GT Academy winner, Lucas Ordonez. But that is not all of the Nissan GT3 news we have for you. This is big news there is gonna be a new Nissan GTR GT3 car in 2018. The car is currently in development in secret in a secret location somewhere in the world. We don't even know where it is, but it is in development. That car will be racing in 2018. Stay tuned, we'll tell you all of the details about that as soon as we get them. Nismo Power, I'm talking about engines, specifically in sports car racing. Nissan's gonna be well represented in the world of prototypes, particularly as we've just seen that fantastic fourth place finish in the Rolex 24 at Daytona. More of that coming hopefully in the Sebring 12 hours and for the rest of the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship in the USA with the ESM team. That engine is of course the GT3 specification GTR engine, but put into a sports prototype. But we are also going to see Nissan in LMP1 racing in the World Endurance Championship with the VRX V6. That's a 3 litre twin turbo V6, very strong engine that will be fitted to the back of the Bicolis racing car. And that could be a little bit of a surprise this year on certain tracks, particularly Le Mans. LMP3, of course, that will be an all Nissan engined formula once again. And as that formula grows, seemingly constantly, we're gonna see a new chassis manufacturer, Norma, fitted with that engine. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how that class pans out in 2017. Meanwhile, down under, the Nissan Altima will be back in action in the Supercars Championship. There should be four of those in action this year in 2017, with Simona Di Silvestro added to the driver roster. That's gonna be a fantastic thing to see, and let's see how she gets on this year. There is so much news there, that's ridiculous. We are gonna be covering as much of it as we can here on Nismo TV. You're gonna get live coverage, exclusive insight, all sorts of wonderful things. We're gonna be taking your requests. So if you wanna see it, tell us about it, leave it in the comments and hit subscribe because we're gonna be bringing you some real surprises, some great content. So stay tuned in 2017. This is Nismo TV.